Hello, we are here with the final quote-unquote tier list. Uh, <laughs> the final tier list for. I don't think I'm gonna do that personally, because okay. I don't know. Well, first of all, first of all, say hi to Yao. Uh, they're here to join me once again. <laughs> so. Uh yeah, but anyways, about about Despair Girls, I didn't really grow that much of an attachment to uh, the characters in it, and I really don't even like the Warriors of Hope all that much. I'm just gonna be real. Did you play it? Uh, I watched I watched it uh, in my free time. Uh, Freaking Jerry made me watch it. So mm -hmm. yeah, there's that. Uh, but personally, didn't uh, just. I think it was that noteworthy, so yeah. Uh, but if I had to rate them, uh, Komaru would be like probably like a all right. She's all right, and then Toko, I still don't like her. <laughs> uh, but at least character development. At least character yeah, development. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But anyways, let's uh do this tier list. We're not doing Despair Girls. This is V3, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and uh, apparently this looks like it's in alphabetical order. So apparently we're going to be starting oh, with... Oh, Oh! Yeah. From, like, for, for the first name at least. So we're going to be starting um, <laughs> with Yonaga. <laughs> Good yeah. God. Yo, I'm so sorry, but... Um, I'm gonna be real. She's kind of been get the fuck out for me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, well. Uh. You yeah, go on. Go on from Himiko. That was important because I can't decide my girlfriend. But go on. No, no, no. We're gonna talk about this. <laughs> go on. Then talk about it. Go on. Talk about it. Or don't. Talk about it. Okay, um, she's annoying. Uh, Atua this, Atua that. Um, Atua is the real god. I know, but still, it, it, she embodies the one, the very few things, one of the very few things that I actually dislike about people is that they're way too into religion and all that stuff. She's a oh, she right, fucking yeah. she fucking manipulated like some of the students, albeit with no bad intention. Like I understand she had no bad intention whatsoever, but she got real fucking annoying in the third chapter. Oh well, my god. That was her last moment of living, so let her have her moment. Yeah, but it is what it is. I still don't like her, and uh, she might be my uh, new least favorite character. Bro, throw Terror Terror, throw Toko out the window. No, throw. It's <laughs> worse because you literally fucking hit on some girl. Okay, that's true. Well, <laughs> but still, fuck, no, fuck Yonaga, worse. fuck Angie no. Yonaga. Not actually, no. but still, fuck off with that. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, Goku Hara, um, what do I, what shall, what do I say about him? Alright, well, you know what, how about this, how about you talk about why you like, uh, Yonaga? Yeah, everything feels like a fever dream, I can't remember anything, but I just think she's cute, and she has a nice antag. Uh huh. Alright. I haven't I'm... played this game in like months. Yeah. I can't remember anything. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry though. I'm sorry though. Like, it's it's just I don't like her. But anyways, Goku Hara. Okay. Uh, anyways, Goku Hara. I think he's a very solid character. I think he's he's really cool. Like he's fine. He's... Like I and there are he's one of the very few um characters that I actually actively feel bad for because like he had again like like Angie he had no bad intention whatsoever but 
considering, like, oh, by the way, there's gonna be spoilers for V3, by the way, um, but considering, like, um, it, like, his trial that we had to go through, like, like, when he got executed, like, I felt really, really bad, because, I don't know, it's, it's just, hmm, I mean, he's also a bug lover, so I, 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 I can't I can't fault him for that. I like bugs as well. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> but let's see. Come on. What am I, I'm trying to remember something. I don't know what it is, but uh, I just like again. I just feel bad for for Gokuhara, like. Oh, like in chapter four. Yeah. Like, fucking Kokichi, he literally ran the entire thing. <laughs> yeah, he's like a freaking shit, but he's a good character, so... Yeah. Uh, what do you think about Kokuhara? Do you agree with my placing? I like him. I would put him in A. You would put him in A? Like, just not B, A+, plus, but like, A. Oh, okay. I think the I think the main kicker for me was that uh, like he can't really speak uh, uh, like fluent English. I mean, like he has like he can speak English, but not like really well, which yeah, that kind of adds to it. By yeah, I understand that, but still, it, it it makes me feel bad. All in all, Gokuhara is just the character I just feel bad for. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, Yumeno. Uh, Himiko Yumeno. Um, I love her. I really like her too. I'm gonna put her in the in the B plus uh, tier because. Understandable. I I also like her character development. Like, sure, she gets like the reason why I wouldn't place her higher is because like. Similar to uh, Yonaga, she goes magic this, magic that. My my, th this thing was magic, <laughs> and all that. So, uh, but I also like the character development that uh, she went through, uh, which was like she tried to be as optimistic as possible. She tried to exercise more, especially after uh, Chabashira's uh, uh, demise and all that. So, so. I feel like you would su still surprisingly remember everything from the Hope's Peak series, though. Uh, I I remember everything from Bangin' too, but I can't remember anything else because it feels like a favorite dream and I'm picking up with Bayayo. Wow. Fictional idols. Wow. But... Um... <laughs> Yeah, also, I really like the, uh, I don't know what it is, but just different colored hair is also really cool to look at. Yeah. I don't know, I just really like the red hair, like, appearance. Um, anyways. Oh, okay. Okay, alright, come on. <laughs> come on, though. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Kibo. K1B0. I... Let me go for Japanese. Huh? Does it really? Yeah. Wow, that's actually really cool. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, what? Do, where do I place him? Should I also place him in in B plus as well? Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I don't know. Like, there's a problem with like a lot of the V three characters is because I'm not as familiar with them as, you know, like the Danganronpa 2 characters. Like, I'm not as familiar with them, but he seemed pretty optimistic. Um, he, he plays uh, big roles in um, the class trials and all that, I believe. And, uh, hmm. Actually, I don't even know if I want to put him in like B plus or C plus. I don't know. Like him as the audience surrogate was a really cool plot twist. 
Like, that's what his inner voice is, I guess. The camera thing for him. Was yeah, he was, he was the camera for the audience. Yeah, that was nice. Um, yeah, and he legit ended everything. Like. Yeah, if you think about it, he technically doesn't have a gender, so like... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think B plus fits him. I think B plus fits Kibo, so... Um... Hmm? Kaiyi! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Like, oh my like... golly. Akamatsu. Oh goodness me. Um, uh, is it weird that I'm using, like, their last names and all that? Uh, no. I don't think anyone cares. Okay. Alright, but I, I typically like going with, like, the last names because, well... I don't know. But anyways, uh... Uh, Akamatsu, uh, I think she's A+. Plus. I think she's A+, plus personally. She is A+. <laughs> I really like, uh, Akamatsu. Like, it was sad that, uh, well, first of all, I think that's one, this is the only time I believe that we die in a Danganronpa game, yeah, which is still kind of crazy to me to this day. And, um... Nagito, um, the human thing, where in chapter 4, you become, like, your Nagito, and, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and the fact that she was wrongly executed, it, it just makes me feel bad, especially for, uh, Saihara. Uh, Shuichi yeah. Saihara, yeah. Because... <laughs> If I if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, then uh, Akamatsu was a uh, uh, Saihara's love interest? Question mark. Um, I have no idea. It was like it's kind of weird because he knew her for like two days, and he's kind of like I don't know, like you know, he just kind of like oh wow, I have a crush on him, and now blah blah blah. Yeah, I I'd, I'd say it's a little weird, but. At the same time. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Um, but like the love hotel, well, um, Kaido's love hotel was weird. Wait, do you know about the love hotel? No, I don't. I haven't done a single one of them. <laughs> well, Kaido's love hotel is weird. It was, and um, Kaido, um, and then Kaito is just. Denial with Tanko. That was weird because she's kind of like on. Oh. Yeah, but we're talking about uh, Akamatsu right now, so what's the yeah. love hotel thing for that? Should I send you it? I can send it to you. Nah. I'd, I'd prefer if we just talk about it here, but I guess, uh, hmm. Remember everything from it. Like, do it. Alright. Something tells me I'm gonna have to, like, skip to the end and all that. Because, uh, we can't really afford to make this video that long. I mean, I don't want to sp- uh, I don't remember, but all, all I want to say is like I don't want to I don't want to get into that predicament of spending ten minutes solely on on uh, Nagito. <laughs> Good God, uh, that was a fun one. Oh, right. Yeah, too. that was that was so dumb, but that was so funny at the same time. Um. Yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. Every time I come here, I play the role as their ideal, like some shared fantasy. Hello? What is this? Bro, she's sweating. This is getting awkward. What am I supposed to do? I'm... I'm so confused. What's happening? Do you remember what today is? Hello? So you don't remember. I kinda had to... What the heck is this? Uh, you don't need to apologize. My friends told me boys are like this. Hello? 
She put her hands on her hips and pouted at me. Okay, today's our anniver- Huh? What? So, are we- Wait, I'm so confused. Are we- are we her boyfriend here or something? Yeah, okay. <laughs> God, Shuichi, I was the one who confessed to you, you know? Uh, yeah, so. Uh huh. Oh, golly. Jeez. Alright then. Say sweetheart and all that? Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Oh um, my- Yeah, I don't understand this. I really don't understand. He went back to calling me Kaede again. Wow. Wow. What dickheads we are. <laughs> it's fine. I really like that passive side of yours. Okay. This is getting- This is- This is getting strange. The blushing Kaede took me in her arms. Bro, what are we- Hello? Are we gonna- Oh god. Thud? Hello? I found Kaede in my lap, both of us sitting on the bed. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm invading some privacy here? Question mark? Uh, she said, and "This this bitch said, hug me." Oh my god! <laughs> she whispered. She whispered in my ear and squeezed me. I don't like this. This. She drew her body closer, pressing herself again. Yeah, I think we're engaging in some things that I probably shouldn't be looking at, huh? Can you hear my heartbeat? Uh, sure. I can hear yours too, Shuichi. It's my favorite melody. Oh. Okay, that that's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. That's kind of adorable. Uh huh. You play my heart better than I play the piano, bro. I I love when they compare stuff like that. You know. Oh, that's all. That's, that's all I'm gonna say. But that's really, that's really uh, sweet. If we're going to be honest today. Then I wanted to hear you say that. Uh huh. As long as you give me this courage, I can do anything. Uh, what should I do? Question mark. Kaede, I mean my sweetheart, pulled back and rested herself on my lap. We stared into each other's eyes for a long while, our noses almost touching. Uh, will you do it with me? I would like that more than- Uh! In place of a reply, I pulled her in closer. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Oh, I don't know. It sounds like the reader. Fam, it 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 looks it looks like they were gonna have sex. <laughs> yeah. um, um. Okay then. Yeah. That was like... Yeah, I can't remember. That is weird. <laughs> what the hell? Okay then. Um. All right then. Um, let's move on. I'm gonna keep uh, Akamatsu up in the A plus tier. Um, I'm gonna okay. Uh, Momota, he's kind of just there for me personally. Personally. Kaito Momota, he's 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 all right personally, but when he 
I don't know, it's just like the luminary of the stars part that just gets to- that just gets under my skin a little bit. It gets a tad bit annoying. A tad bit annoying. Uh, he played a really big role in like, the, uh, chapter 5 trial though. Like, that's a really cool trial, by the way. Probably my- f one of my favorite trials, like, of all in, in Danganronpa, by the way. But other than that, he's just there. I, I think Momoto is just there. So, uh -oh. so yeah, Kaito Momoto, he's C+. Uh, Tojo, Kirumi Tojo. I actually really like uh, Tojo. I'm gonna put her in A+. <laughs> I'm gonna put her in A+, because, well, she's very, she's very kind, she's very smart. I forgot the word. Hmm? You forgot the word? I forgot the word I was gonna say. Oh god. <laughs> of course you did. Oh dear lord. I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to get my brain working. Oh Ugh. god. Too so many Christmas, man. <laughs> but, but... I... Okay. Toja, she... She's... She's really, really cool. She's really cool. She's... She's there for like the service and all that. She's really up about her work. Um, she, I apparently she doesn't like taking days off. Um, yeah, she's a maid. Well, no duh, of course, of course, ultimate maid. What do you expect? Um, apparently, I'm not sure if this is a fabricated thing or not, but apparently she's supposed to be like, like a s prime minister of like Japan, something like that. And yeah. I noticed. Yeah, she's the Prime Minister of Japan, but that's only because Morikuma brainwashed her to make her that world. She's not actually the Prime Minister. Oh, okay. Well, still, to, to even, like, uh, have a motive like that, like, that's really cool, because it shows, like, how important, like, people view you as. And, well, she definitely earned my respect. Um, so yeah, Kokichi Oma, oh my golly, Kokichi Oma. he's, he's, he's an ultimate, he's an ultimate for me, he's, he's fantastic, honestly, and sure, it's like, it's, it's what the majority of people say, but my god, he basically he basically ran like half of the killing game. Like he ran half of it. Yeah, I think like I said, I think chapter five's trial was like one of my favorite trials of all time. Just because like even like this trial even made it so Monokuma didn't know like who was the who was the black end and who was the um um uh, victim in this case. Like, it's really, it's a really cool tr uh, trial. Uh, and we had to leave it up to chance until, until Kaito uh, revealed himself to be inside that Exosol. So, yeah, it was really, really cool. But the fact that Kokichi had the right idea to do that, like, he almost messed it up. He almost messed up uh, Monokuma. He almost did it. He almost did it. Like, that plan, that plan, if it weren't for, uh, Saihara, uh, it would've, it would've worked, because, well, we're too smart for our own good, and we decided to keep it going for one more chapter, <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Um, also, I, <laughs> considering the song I made on, uh, Kokichi Oma, like, I think I was able to understand him until like chapter four, where he started to get seriously crazy and all that. That one was funny. Hmm. He snapped. He wanted power. Yeah. 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 I think it's a C plus uh, character, cause 
I mean, he's alright. He's alright. Because, well, apparently, like, uh, I do a really, uh, good impression of him. Or something like that, but, um, uh, <laughs> he's alright. It's, it's a pretty decent, uh, voice to do. Um, I think the reason why, like, I put him this low is because, like, he's just there. He's just there, you know? I mean, like, him being the black end for, like, both cases in, like, um, Yonaga and Shabashira, it's just... Yeah, the double murder. Yeah, that double murder. Like, I don't understand. Like, all you had to do is just do a one and that's it. You know? Personally. Yeah. Because you didn't have to actually... You didn't have to cuck yourself and kill both of them. Uh, like... To make them suspect you did both of them, so... Make them suspect you did both of them, but... It is what it is, um, but... I think chapter 3 of V3 will be one of the worst chapters, uh, like in my book. So... Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, anyways... Harukawa! Maki Harukawa! Um... I think I want to put her in A+. In a plus. She also had some great character development. She had some great character development too, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, her being like super cold to like, uh, like the later chapters, like she's more open with us. Um, cause, and the thing is, I don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm used to, uh, Maki being like an open character. Like I still think, I still think of the cold side of her, like, the, the do you want to die no joke part. <laughs> I don't know, but what do you think? Um, excuse me. Head empty. <laughs> Head empty. Uh, I also like if. I don't know if, again, I don't know if the story, like, of her, I don't know if Maki's story is true, but it's probably not, considering, like, the, the fabricated stuff and all that. Yeah, but, like, it could be kind of true. Kind of true? I still have no idea, but... Yeah, Harukawa's story was just, like, it's really sad. I, I believe she vomited, like, every day or so, like, and, uh... Yeah, the assassin training on all that. Which, by the way, the plot twist of her being an ultimate assassin is really, really cool. Like, like... I think so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ultimate assassin is personally, like, one of the most badass ultimate uh, titles that you could possibly have. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, up next... Miyu Iruma. Uh, I oh, think uh, she's either she's either B or C. Uh, I don't know where I want to place her. What do you think? Make her B. No, make her A. Make her A? No, 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 not an A. <laughs> um, I was gonna say. B. All right. I'll put her in B tier. Um, no, like, make a B, not like B plus, but like a B. Oh. Like, just a B. <laughs> what if we just, like, hang on, what if I, um, what if I, uh, uh, add row above, um. Yeah, just make a B. <laughs> How about we just call it Mew? <laughs> oh, sure. Change yeah, the she, color. Yeah, she's, like, in the middle. Uh, uh. Color, we'll just make it this just because. <laughs> yeah, but me is just there. Like me is all right. Like I think the thing that obviously stands out about her is that she is a very, very, very vulgar character. <laughs> and I'm a little mixed on that because part of me likes it, part of me doesn't. But, considering this is a high school type of setting that we're in, 
and I believe we're below 18 or something like that. I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I don't know where I would place Mew if it came to B plus or C plus, so I would just put her in the middle. So, yeah. Um, now, does this mean I, I, um, I hate Mew? No, of course not, but I don't think I like her enough to, well, I don't know, consider her, like, like worthy question mark? I don't know what I'm saying, but all in all, I think Mew is like solid, but like a little. I don't know. Anyways, um, okay. Rantaro Amami. Uh, he's the character I know the least about, so. Um, yeah, the positive. Cool. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I would still place him in like maybe I'll put him in high C tier. Maybe I'll put him in high C tier. How about that? Cause he's he's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. No bad intentions whatsoever. I noticed. Um. And, yeah, like you said, uh, Ultimate Survivor uh, is a really cool title. I don't even know what his, uh, uh, does he have a regular talent other than Ultimate Survivor? Um, in the last one, he feels like an Ultimate Adventure or something. Huh. Okay, then. Alright. Right, would that explain his, uh, leaf green tree hair or something like that? Something like that? I don't know. Uh, uh, um, his device doesn't really have anything to do with... Yeah. Also, also, he's like a super calm character. He's just like, Hey, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's vibing. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's probably... If, if we have like a vibing tier list, then he would certainly be like ultimate. But <laughs> this is not a vibing tier list. It's how much we like him. Uh, speaking of liking, uh, characters, Ryoma Hoshi, uh, I think I'm actually going to put him in- Oh, I love them. I'm gonna put him in high B tier, because- Yeah, I think this is- This is another one of those characters where I just feel bad, because it's so relatable, is the thing. Like, he's probably one of the more relatable characters, if anything. Yeah. Because I mean, like, have you ever killed person, a person by playing tennis before? Um, no. I don't think that's relatable. No, that's not the relatable part. The relatable part is like when he got depressed and all, because he has no one to love him, and there's no one. <laughs> he had no one to love, so. Yeah. That's sad, man. And especially, I think I think the the motive video for him was like the cracking point, because. Yeah. Everyone else had like people that they loved, but real I did it because his girlfriend and his family. Yeah, his family got murdered, I believe. I from... think he had a girlfriend. Yeah, he. I think he had a girlfriend. Question mark. Um, but. Oh uh, yeah, he did. Yeah, that's a big yikes. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah, I, I have to hand it to Ryoma because like he's he's a cool character and all and I believe his uh, voice actor is the same person who did uh Tanaka's so that's fun. Oh yeah, yeah, that was great. Like, hmm, you still got a ways to go. I don't know. That's 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 a fun voice to do by the way. Uh, let's see. Shuichi Saihara. Um He's a good boy. He's a good boy. I'm gonna put him in a uh, in a low A, if that's fine. Oh. <laughs> oh, you sound disappointed. Um, I mean, like, mm, yeah, that's a good move. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Saihara. Um. 
I believe, doesn't he get depressed too? Like, he seems to show some depressive symptoms as well. Uh, especially like... Yeah, he is, I think. Like, especially when, like, the outside world was revealed to us and we just, we were just like... We, we went into, we fell into so much despair that we wanted to die. That's, that's how bad it got, but... I mean, like, your world is a killing game. Isn't that, like, how you would feel in a killing game? Yeah, like, like, where, where would you go? Where would you go? <laughs> that's just a sad thing, you know? Yeah, never think that wrong. Because, like, um... The pregame, they signed up themselves, and it's not like you can go back. Like, even if you do go back, they're gonna get the attention of the people, the survivors of the Mhm. Mm because the Europa was so normalized by the public, too. Because, like, it was so normalized, nobody stopped the Europa. Damn. God damn. But, yeah, I think, I think, uh, Saihara being put in, like, low A tier is, is alright. And I especially got really sad, like, when, like, cause he had, he had the hope and all that, like, to keep moving forward, but the moment, like, it was, the truth was revealed to him, like, he went back to the weak ultimate detective, like, that he was in, like, the, in, in chapter one, I believe. Yeah, so, like, is, is kind of messed up because it's literally normalized by the public and they don't care how old you are, you just have to be in high school to, like, join Nangaramba and it doesn't really matter, like, I don't think you even need your parents' permission, like, if you just want to sign up, you're gonna sign up and you're gonna remove your memories and everything, so, like, mm -hmm. okay. it's kind of... Stuff. And like, the only great 15 people, but like, it's so normalized that there's more than 15 editions. Yeah, not to mention apparently- like, <laughs> not, to, not to mention, it's the 53rd installment. Like, how many students yeah. have died in this thing? Like, how many young lives well, have been ended? Like, if you could do the math, yeah. then sure, maybe, but still, that's- Big yikes, man. Okay, fair enough. He's like, special. Really He's special, goddamn. Alright. Anyways, uh, I guess a Saihara in low A tier is a pretty decent uh, choice. Ch Ch Chabashira. Um. I think I'm gonna put her in C as well. She's a tad. She's. I don't know. I don't know how to describe her personally. I really don't know. She's just a fun killer. I know that. I know that for sure. Like, she's all about uh, degenerate males and all that, like, and how they're stupid and all. Yeah, you like Himiko too. Yeah, somewhat attracted to Himiko. Apparently, like... Uh, that she like Himiko. Just, uh, just like? Okay. Like, romantically, she, she has her Himiko. Oh! So it's all that type of like. Okay, alright then. Can you tell? Yeah, I could definitely tell. It was just like, hey, why are you trying to why are you trying to white knight your way into Himiko's heart? Just so you know, Himiko has already chosen me. You know, I I, yeah, I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. I can tell. So you degenerate males better not get into her heart. <laughs> but anyways, that, that she's just there. Like she's not she's not annoying enough for me to hate her. But she's not likable enough either, so she's just there. Uh, Shirogane. Um, I'm not gonna lie. She's actually not that good of a character. 
I'll be honest. I know. She's lame. She's boring. She's a very lame character, and you were, she was damn right when she kept saying all that plain stuff. Like, she was just plain. Like, she's indeed plain. Like, yeah, sure, plain. sure, getting to see, like, all of the characters again, that's pretty cool. But you're not a good mastermind. Like, you are not a good... Yeah, she's Terrible she's a horrible mastermind. The game almost ended at the first chapter because no one wanted to kill each other. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, there's that, I guess. Um, and... I don't know. She's just not... She's just not a good character. Like, I lost... I, yeah, really I, if, I mean, if she wasn't... You know what? No, I would have pro ju probably just kept her as, like, get the fuck out, because I don't know what she does. I don't know what she does, like, to, to all this stuff. Like, was she, like, pretending that she was shocked and all that? Because I don't know. Yeah, she probably was, because she planned out everything or something. She basically knew what was going on. She didn't find that hideout. I mean, okay. Alright. I mean, it's... <laughs> Imagine this. Imagine you were so bad, you were, you were, like, you know you're a bad mastermind when a student who isn't even the mastermind usurps the role as a mastermind. And they probably did a better job, to be honest. <laughs> you know? I mean, I mean, we were deceived once, uh, like, in chapter one. Um, to Oh uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Everyone wanted to kill each other in, in like this thing, so that's eh, I don't know. Anyways, I think that's pretty much that for the tier list. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it for for Danganronpa uh, tier list in general. Until the, a new game comes out, I think? Question mark? Which. That's probably not gonna happen. Um, Kadarka's making a new game, but that's- it's not Dangarapa, it's like, um... Yeah, okay. Honestly, I don't see a new Dangarapa game, game coming out anytime soon, because- Yeah, it's ended it, because Kadarka and the- um, left tune site, or whatever it's called, and they're making a new game that's like... Uh, uh... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you're empty. You're, you're empty a, head again. A baseball game. Yeah, a baseball game. Oh, okay. But again, it is what it is. Um, thank you guys so much for coming out to this uh, video. Thank you guys so much for joining me on uh, the journey to Danganronpa. Uh, I have no idea uh, like what's gonna come next uh, in regards to Danganronpa, but. I guess for now, like, stuff is gonna end, because, holy hell, it was really fun. <laughs> so, yeah, any final words? Any final words? No. No? No, I don't really have anything. Alright, I... Okay. Anyways, we're gonna get the heck out of here now. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, this uh, tier list uh, video. If you guys enjoyed today's video and you want to share your support, Hit the like button down below for me, give me a thumbs up, I don't really care. But if you do, subscribe, because it really helps out our channels. Uh, you should go check out uh, Yawa's channel, uh, just because. You know? I don't really use it that much. Um, yeah, but still. Twitter. Yeah, but still, you're mo <laughs> I guess I can plug your Twitter as well, huh? I use Twitter mode. Yeah, but still, still. Like, go check, just support, just support, uh, y'all however you can, whether it's, whether it's their, uh, YouTube, whether it's their Twitter and all that. Just, do something, man. <laughs> and in the meantime, I guess I'll plug some of my stuff as well. Um, go check out the new Kokichi Oma song that I put out a few days ago. Um, <laughs> that's fun. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get the heck out of here now. Uh. So yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. We out. Peace.